are both from the same company. They're, uh, they're Chandler and Price, which was quite a well uh, or quite a popular brand in North America. Um, but they're a style that basically spanned from about 1850 to about 1950. So this style of press is called a platinum press, uh, and it, it's characterized by these two plates that sort of go from being open like this to fold in and to print and then come open again. So it makes a very efficient print because you can change the paper quite quickly. Whereas this one here, the rollers, come out and pick up ink off of this here, and then go down and cover the text which sits here, and while it's picking up more ink, the plates come together and make an impression here. So both these presses are similar era, similar company. Um, one is just bigger. So I do, I, I sort of divide it into three categories. I do custom printing, and that would be everything from band posters to business cards, um, event posters, uh, custom cards, uh, Pretty much anything somebody wants. Wedding invitations is a great application for letterpress because of the tactile surface of the print. Um, so the second thing that I do is my own line of paper goods, the ephemeral greeting cards and that is prints and posters and that sort of thing. And then I do woodblock prints also. So I get business from all over actually. I sell some of my products all over the world online. And so I often get orders from Texas or England or whatever. Uh, as far as the custom work goes, so far it's been mostly Western Canada, so Calgary, Vancouver, for me. Well, one of the things that I'm realizing is that when when I'm when it's busy, it's, it's good, but I also don't get a lot of work done, mm -hmm. right? And so because when there's people coming through the gallery and asking questions, uh, I can't be making products, so it's hard for me to. Uh, budget time for projects so I can give somebody an estimated turnaround but then if it gets busy on that Friday or something like that randomly then I will I won't get it done <laughs> because there's people coming in and you have to talk to them so there is some challenges that way one of the hardest parts is actually from sourcing paper in Canada there's very little paper made in Canada anymore and so it's all imported even though we make a lot of pulp we don't really make paper, and so any kind of fancy, high quality letterpress papers have to be ordered from elsewhere and are very expensive, and so finding good supplies for that in small quantities because I'm not a big shop. I don't buy it by the crate or by the pallet, I buy it by a small box. Um, it can be quite expensive and hard to find. Well, the, the, for me, uh, making, printing something is, uh, you know, I get giddy about that, it's just, uh, that's what I'm here for, is to, to, to make art, and I, I find that it, it doesn't necessarily mean that's art for me, custom art can fall into that category, but as long as um, I feel like I've been empowered to be the craftsman and artist in that project, then uh, I can, I'm quite, I can sort of exist in that moment indefinitely, you know. And so that's really the high point, is getting to spend most of my day doing this. Uh, and I don't think a lot of people and artists get to do what they love for a good part of the day. Um, the hard part is that balancing part, the learning curve of trying to balance some of the digital work I still do and scheduling printing stuff and then costing things. Uh,